Okay, today we're going to talk about the music um, option in Scratch. And this is actually an option that shows up down here. It's actually called an extension. Now, Scratch does have the sound options and you can select different sounds there. And there's a lot of really cool things you can do with that with the pitch and, and different things like that. However, there's also this extension where you can actually select music notes and you can compose your own songs in Scratch. Um, so if, if you click on these, this is actually a, a a button here you can click on there's several different extensions the pen and text to speech and things like that but we're looking for the music and option right there and what that will do is that'll give you this option in scratch um, and it doesn't have a lot of blocks but it's actually there's several different options for you within each block that you can um, edit and they make some really cool songs with and music with this so we'll add an event here um, and we'll kind of bring this out and make this a little bit bigger. And when we go to music, so let's say we want to play a drum, you know, we can select what kind of drum we want. And that could be, you know, a crash cymbal, something like that. And we can actually select how long the beat we want for that specific note for that instrument. So if we want just a quarter beat, we can do that. If we want a half beat, whole beat, you know, however long you want that to, to run for. And when you press the space bar, it'll make that sound okay um, so that's you know and you can select different ones and you can actually stack these here so maybe you would like to have the play the drum again but we want to do the snare drum um, and we want to do a couple more you know we want to add maybe three snare drums um, so when we hit the space bar now we're gonna get the crash cymbal and then the three snare drums right after that um, and if you wanted to you know um, we could put a rest in there as well so it would sound something like this and you get that rest and you can again edit this as well so maybe you want it to be a longer um, break there in the music and you can hit space oops and hit space and it gives a little bit of a rest there in between those so that's kind of how you can use the drums and there's you know i think 18 different drums they even have like a hand clap if you wanted to do something like that okay so that's kind of the drums pretty straightforward on how you can make the drum sound and we could just make a little more space here we're going to add another event and instead of the space bar though we're going to select a key we'll just say the a key for this and then when we go back over here to music maybe what we want to do is play a note of an instrument besides the drums so the drums have their own special category here and so you have the note but really you haven't selected the instrument yet. So what you need to do is go back over to here, select instrument, and you can select a lot of different instruments on here. Let's say we wanna have the saxophone. Um, and then you can actually select what note for that saxophone and you know you have a lot of options for that. And you can sample them. Now it sounds like a piano, but it does come across as a saxophone. And we'll just kind of play that and show you. And then, same thing for this, maybe we want a whole note, right? And when we press that, it'll play that. Um, and then you can stack the notes, just like you did with the drums here. You can select different notes, and we'll just kind of dra drag a few, you know. Um, and then when we play that, you have yourself kind of a song going here. You press the space bar and the A key, you can start to form a somewhat of a song you can also set the tempo um, so you could have that above and let's say we're going to set the tempo to 60 you could do that um, and you know if you, maybe we want to quicken that up it'll speed things up or we can slow it down so these tempos you can actually add into at the beginning of these you can also change them so you could actually change this mid uh, song if you wanted to so you could add you know add this in the middle here change the tempo by 20 so it's going to add 20 to whatever that tempo was that you had at the beginning and then it will change that okay so there's a lot you can do here with the music notes and they're just really kind of a cool option uh, to have in scratch you can make a song which is really kind of a, a cool thing um, 
So yeah, that's how you use the music notes in Scratch. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you.